So what do I carry in my bag? Again, I use this as a camera standby bag, so it'll be a bit different than what a camera assistant would have in it, but a lot of the stuff will be quite similar. Let's have a look. So in the main section here, it is wedged. This will more or less cover me for most things that crop up. I have a black baseball cap. Sun never pops out, wear that, sun's not in your eyes. Uh, these are battery holders. So these are just kind of semi-used double A's. Um, I, they're, they're just handy for torches and things like that. I have work gloves. These are, I don't know, I got them on Amazon. They're nice, they're comfy, I've had them for a few years. I cut off the index finger so I can get a tape. Hold them together on a crock clip, click it to my pants, done. Uh, waterproof overalls. These ones are from Mountain Warehouse. They're about 30 euro for like what they are, that's quite expensive, but if it's ever pissing rain out and you need to stay dry, they're a must. I have a little snoot. This one's from Regatta. Keep you warm when it's cold around your neck. And finally in that line, I have a thermal hat. Keep the old head warm. Right beside that, I have a toolkit of kind of smaller tools. It's a nice fix-it kit. My brother got me this as a birthday present, but uh, it works nice. It's mainly for computers, but I found I use a lot of these for kind of small niggly camera bits if I need to fix it. It's a super handy thing to have, so I just keep it in the bag. In the middle I have my, this is a Panavision AC pouch. I got this from a feature I was interning on. The camera crew gave it to me, they were very nice guys. I don't actually use this pouch that often because it's just a little bit too big for my needs. It's what's inside is what I use a lot. So I picked up this little pouch that holds my multi-tool and a few other bits and pieces. It is a port brace I actually don't know the model number, I got it ages ago. I was looking around for a pouch about that size and this is what I found. Stupid expensive for what it is. There's probably cheaper versions out there, but this one, when I found it, was what I was looking for for ages. Inside here I have a mixture of Sharpies, pens, whoops, permanent markers, pens again. I have a multi-tool. The one I have is a Victorinox Swiss tool. I got this for free off my mate Dean when my other one broke. Um, I will pick up a Letterman whenever this breaks, but like it does the exact same thing, so it's fine. Slots in there perfectly. At the back, I have a T-bar for doing camera plates. Um, it's super handy if something's stuck. It's a lot easier to get leverage on it. And finally, I have a scissors. I always have a scissors on me on set because you never know when you need it. As good as a knife is and a multi-tool, a scissors is a super handy thing to have. This comes with me everywhere when I'm working. It is always on my belt. Never leave without it. Beside that, I have a head torch for if I'm working at night. This is a cheap little Amazon one. I'll put a link down in the description. It's bruised and battered and in bits and like the this thing comes off every now and again. It's kind of annoying. It's a cheap one, but it does the job. Takes AAA. I wanted to get a AA one, but I couldn't find any that didn't have the big battery pack on the back of it, which is annoying. But it does the job until it breaks. I'll keep using that one. And then the last thing I have is an LED lenser torch. Yeah, this is the P5.2. It's a nice little torch. There is bigger ones, but this one suits my needs perfectly. Comes in a nice little pouch, clips onto your belt. Put a bit of gaff tape on the end of it because it's all metal. And the odd time I need to like stick it in my mouth when I'm doing something with both my hands. So the gaff tape stops me damaging my teeth. And then I have a bit of PVC tape bongo tied to the bottom of it. You can never have enough PVC tape. In the actual pouch here, I just have a few kind of lens cloths and pencils, lens cloths, more dry erase markers, more markers, markers, markers. Beside that, I have this um, flag on a grip arm thing. It is a Dinkum Systems uh, flag. I had this for ages when I was using DSLRs and uh, kind of smaller cameras and didn't have a map box. This works perfectly, can block the light, stop flares. I don't use it that much these days because I have a map box now, but it's a handy thing to carry with me. The most amount of use it will get is when I'm doing time lapses and I have the map box on the FS5 and I'm doing time lapse on the DSLR. I'll use this if I'm getting flare off something. At the back here in the pen pouch, believe it or not, I have it full of pens. Lots of different kind of colored markers, pens. I have a lighter. You never know when you need a lighter. Uh, and a scissors, this is a good, uh, scotch scissors so like scotch tape brand or whatever but it's a really good one so keep that there and the two little flat pouches at the back here i don't actually have anything in these ones um and then behind that i have a notebook it's a basic nice little notebook you never know when you need it i use my phone most of the time when i'm doing stuff like that but always have a pen and paper on hand it's super handy 
And then finally behind that, I have a white card slash gray card. On the front pouch here, which is the, the kind of one that flaps completely open, I leave it in like this. I don't ever really take it out. And all I have in it at the minute is, there's a little bag here, kind of zip cord pulled bag. And in here I have a bunch of cables that you may or may not need. So I have BNCs, BNCs, uh, BNCs, <laughs> BNCs, uh, HDMI, various audio cables and micro USB connections, USB-C, and then there's a 3.5 millimeter female to female. Just handy stuff that if you ever need it, it's there. In the bottom of this pouch, I have, it's just a bunch of tools, miscellaneous tools that you may need. I have uh, Velcro cable ties, pliers, Phillips head, flat head, other pliers, Velcro. Allen keys, you should always have Allen keys. There's two different versions you can get and you should always have kind of the two of them. I need to pick up the other kit. A lot of screws and stuff on camera rigs and stuff, use Allen keys, they're super handy to have. In this side, I have a mix of stuff. I have two, they're just your basic 60 watt bulbs. This has been a couple of times I was working on a goggle box and there's a lot of just room lights and practical lights that you need and you know, the, the household will always have bulbs, but if a bulb pops and they don't have one, then, you know, the shot is different. So I always carried a few of these on me. I have a remote. This is a Samsung one. It's a simple thing, but I need it sometimes. Um, various different uh, kind of male-to-male -male screw ends for like tripods and bits and pieces like that. They're just very handy to have. A bunch of AA batteries. Uh, so I have, I have four boxes of AA batteries. These are, have never been touched and these ones are like been used for like two seconds in lav mics and stuff. So I'll reuse these ones on a non-critical project, but these are the ones, if I need to use something, I'll use those. Again, I have AAA batteries. They're handy to have mainly for my torch, wherever that's gone. I've been using the uh, Duracell industrial batteries. Like most productions use them. They're consistent and not shit. As much as I like the RX100, it keeps cutting out when recording in 4K. It is a pain in the ass. Uh, down here I have Velcro. Um, I need to buy more. This is the last bit of Velcro I have, but it is super handy to have. I stick it on pretty much everything. And then the last two things I have in here are their shitty little <laughs> 3D printed cases I made. These are uh, Vertex and the old style Motor Verola or the kind of cheap Baofeng walkie talkie headsets. So they're just the earpieces and stuff. Um, they just live in this bag. If I go on to a set, I have my own earpiece. Don't have to get someone else's dirty earwax in my ear. Let's get rid of this stuff. Um, on this side, I have, it's mainly lens oriented stuff. Oh yeah, these are like cheap lens cleaning things. I got them off a photographer that was working with us one time. Um, a level that you can stick into the hot shoe of a camera. That's a really handy thing to have and they're only a couple of quid on Amazon. Uh, this is a Tullamore Jew rag. Uh, it's just handy for wiping something down if it gets dirty or something. Yeah, big lens cloth. Um, again, lens cloths, you can never have too many. I buy the multi-pack ones that are on Amazon. They work perfect, they're fine. Get the bigger ones, not the smaller ones. I have a little rocket blower for, you know, getting dust off a sensor or a lens, things like that. A pancro for cleaning lenses if they get stuff on them. This is the best stuff you can get out there for lenses as far as I'm concerned. It works an absolute treat and I use it with uh, Kim Tech wipes. These are like microfiber tissue paper. Um, I don't know if I have anything in the front of these. Oh, I do. Shower caps. If you're in a hotel, always pick up shower caps. They're super, super handy for just sticking over small bits of equipment that could get wet in the rain or something. They're great. And I like, I have, I'd say about 30 of them in a bag somewhere. I always pick them up. Oh yeah, these are, step up and step down rings for if you have like a weird filter that you need to put onto a lens. Uh, these are the ones that screw onto your lens, like filter treads and stuff. I don't actually use these that often because a lot of the filters I use now go in my matte box, but they're a good thing to have. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Okay, in the top here, I have a load of miscellaneous stuff. Starting here, hand warmer, I think. Yeah, just a little hand warmer thing. Got that in the last thing I was working on. Uh, business cards, they're always good to have. 
Down here I have, oh yeah, bongo ties, which are great. They're really versatile. You can use them on a lot of stuff. I keep them in little money bags. They're just really, really handy to have. Uh, I actually 3D printed the, these then. These are, they're the bongo tie connections, but it's just a plastic, you know, the actual, I don't know, bongo bit of it. So I printed off a few of these, I have a few elastic bands, if I ever run out of the bongo ties, because they're like 10 quid a pack or something, which is, well, I think it's a bit expensive for what they are. So I printed these off, I'll use these eventually. Again, they're in a money bag, just keeps them together. Uh, in here then I have key rings and just cheap kind of carbiners that I got off Amazon. I have a couple of them on the sides here as well, I think. They're just handy to have if you ever need to clip anton onto a bag or a person or something like that. In these two, it's more or less first aid, mostly for myself, um, but it's always handy to have stuff like this in it because whether you get sick or somebody else gets sick or they, ju they just aren't feeling well, it's always good to have stuff like this. So in here, these are just uh, hand sanitizer gels. They do what they do. Earplugs, these are like reusable silicone ones. They're grand, they're, they're kind of weird, but they, they work. Um, I would suggest everyone have earplugs because you never know if you're working in a, like, at a music festival or a concert or something. And if you're near the PA, you will mess up your hearing. Like I think I have a very mild form of tinnitus at the minute and it is super annoying. So I've started using these a lot if I'm at a gig or something like that. They're just very handy to have and everyone should carry ear earplugs around with them. What's this? Oh yeah, these are just band-aids. These are the, the fabric ones that you cut up and put on whatever cut you need. I rather the fabric ones than the plastic ones. The plastic ones never stick to me at all. I don't know what it is about my skin. The fabric ones work great, so I have them. Ibuprofen, painkillers, these are 200 milligrams. I probably use these the most because I always get headaches and stuff, whether it be from eye strain or with like lights getting into you, your eyes and things like that. They're just really handy to have and I think everyone should have painkillers, whether it be Panadol or aspirin or, you know, stuff like that. I use ibuprofen. In the bottom, I have another one of my most used things, uh, pain relieving gel for like muscle pain or back pain or neck pain. I use this a lot. This is the Voltrol Extra Strength one. There is better gels out there, but this is over the counter and you can buy it. Does a treat sometimes. Strepsils. So these are just lozenges um, for like if you have a sore throat or you know a throat infection or something. They work great. I always have them with me. Uh, Vaseline for lubing up them lips. <laughs> um, for some reason, I always get chapped lips when I'm working, especially if I'm outside. It's like windburn and stuff. So I always have Vaseline on me, or at least I try, or some sort of, some sort of a lip uh, chapstick. Nobody else gets to use that but me. And then the last thing I have is a heat patch. Another, it's a Voltrol one again. Um, I don't use these that often. I think this is from a multi-pack that I had a while back. Um, again, if you have a few of them, and it, you know, if you hurt yourself or somebody else, that can be a lifesaver. In here, I have cable ties. It's an absolute pile of them. Super handy to have, everyone should have them. And then a bunch of black wrap. So this is all used black wrap, but like, it's reusable. It's super handy to have if you need to block light coming off a light or something. It's, it, they're great, like they're, you know, I got a strip of it a while back and I just reuse these ones and, you know, they do what they're supposed to, nothing fancy. On this side, uh, oh, I clipped on here actually, I have, it's just a thing of gaff tape and a few clips. So I have, you know, just various bits of gaff tape and then there's paper tape as well for if I need to mark media or something. It's all on a dirty rigger kind of holder thing, but a bit of rope would do the same thing. On this side, I have clips. This is another just a little bag to hold them together, but this is all croc clips and kind of clothes pins and things like that. You know, they're attaching gels to lights uh, or clamping stuff to something else. They're just invaluable. This is a an old rain cover for a backpack I have, but it actually fits over this. You know, it'll, it'll do the job if it starts raining and I have to leave this out. You know, I wouldn't leave it out for too long, but it'll do fine. And then I have an absolute pile of PVC tape because you can never have enough PVC tape. Um, I just have black and white. They're my two most used ones. Yeah, always have tape. On the other side here, I have, um, it's just bungees. Um, they're always super handy to have. Use them for strapping stuff down, holding things together. I have ratchet straps here as well. Yeah, that's it. Ratchet straps and bungees. So on the front, I have 
um, various power cables. So I have just a power extension cord with, that has four on it. I have a cube tap that has three on it. They're super handy to have. And I have an IEC cable or a kettle lead, whatever you want to call them. And a figure of eight cable. Yeah, they're, they're just super handy cables to have. I have an absolute pile of these around, but you can never have too many. You never know when you'll need them. Um, in the front pouch, after that I have, what are they? Oh yeah, sandwich bags. They're super handy, um, you know, if you need to keep things waterproofed again or just hold something together, they're good to have. This is just ND. Um, so what I use this stuff a lot for is if I'm in a house shooting and we have practical lights, I don't have any dimmers left. I stick a bit of ND around the bulb and it does the trick. It's, you know, it works. Just a couple of SD card cases. That is about it. It's a lot of stuff, but it serves its purpose for when I need it. You know, it gets me out of trouble when something arises and I need one of those things. That's all it is for. As I said, you could put a camera in this bag if you wanted, but I use it as a standby bag. It has all the bits that I possibly could need if something happened. In my car, I have a bunch of other things that live in there, um, like I have a lar larger set of gels. So these are just random gels that I picked up over the years. Um, there's all, you know, CTB, CTO, Diffusion, red, a few different colors, ND. Stuff, you know, I don't use that often anymore with LEDs and stuff, but they're handy to have. You know, I, I have a couple of um, tungsten lights and stuff, so they can, be, they can be handy for those. That is pretty much everything I carry with me. As you can see, everything is handy to have. Sorry. If you think I'm missing anything out of the bag, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think it is. I love trying to expand on my camera survival bag. But yeah, I hope you found it informative and maybe got a couple of ideas of what you may need to put in your bag. Leave a like, subscribe if you wanna, uh, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.